time now for our international press view in the papers today with Gulliver Craig. Gulliver, this story about Eckerd Olmert and the Golan Heights, I mean, it's, it's a remarkable development. What's the reaction been? Well, uh, in uh, Ashak al Awsat, the London-based Saudi paper, they've just uh, got this quote from Ehud Olmert as the headline on the front page. I know what Assad wants, and he knows what I want. That's uh, Assad, the Syrian president, of course. So uh, it seems that Israel may be prepared to negotiate a withdrawal, but uh, Ashak al Awsat is just giving the basic information, really. Similar story in El Watan, the Syrian paper, which has also an official declaration from the Syrian foreign minister saying, well, the balls in Israel's court, they know that we're prepared to negotiate. If they're prepared to negotiate, so let's start negotiating. Got a bit more comment in, in Haaretz, uh, the uh, Israeli paper, which is absolutely in favour of a withdrawal. It says that uh, the security advantages of peace with Syria are greater than the strategic value of the Golan Heights. But uh, the paper's worried that Ehud Olmert doesn't really have enough support within his own party, Kadima, for this move. Haaretz also, though, points out that things probably have to change in terms of Israel's relationship with Syria, because when George W. Bush leaves the White House, whichever of his potential successors uh, becomes president, they all um, want to improve relations with Bashar al-Assad and uh, um, be more, have more dialogue with Syria. Okay, and on that theme of the uh, US presidency, a little bit of controversy uh, brewing over one of Bush's possible successors? Yeah, John McCain um, gets a pension, a disability pension, every year of $58,000. This is in El Mundo that I read this. You don't get that much about it in the US press. There was a little thing in the LA Times, but basically uh, El Mundo put it on its front page while the US press was still going on much more about the democratic race. $58,000 is quite a lot of money for somebody who says that at 72 he's absolutely fit enough to be president of the most powerful country in the world. El Mundo's asking, isn't there a little bit of a contradiction here? He's, he gets it because he uh, was injured in Vietnam, so that's his excuse. But still, um, does it really tally uh, with uh, the fact that he says he's absolutely fit enough? That's the question. The £58,000 disability pension, it's a remarkable amount of $50, money. dollars I mean, uh, Sorry, sorry well, yeah. $58,000, it's certainly, certainly more than many people earn in a year doing a full day's work every day, you know, sort of five Sunny days, whatever, you know. Well, indeed, indeed. <laughs> I wasn't going to go there, but you mentioned it. OK, wh what's next? Uh, Italy. Um, there was a, a Romanian citizen in Italy last week raped an Italian, and that's again uh, raised tensions between the Romanian and uh, Italian communities. and. Uh, Italian politicians are um, kind of trying to take advantage of it, or at least that's what it says in Evenimental Zile, the Romanian paper, which has the headline, Romanian criminals, an electoral tool in Italy. Um, it reports that uh, ahead of the municipal elections, the candidates are all uh, trying to say that they've got the toughest line against Romanian immigrants. Silvio Berlusconi, the incoming prime minister, actually uh, told Italians that uh, most other countries in Europe didn't let Romanians in, basically, uh, which is uh, completely untrue, according to Evenimental Zile. There are restrictions on work permits for Romanians, but now that it's in the EU, uh, they're free to move wherever they want. But there are now Italian politicians who want to change that and reintroduce uh, visas. Uh, Il Giornale, the Italian paper which is owned by Berlusconi's brother, reflects this, um, this kind of climate with a big article about uh, how Romanians are disproportionately responsible for crimes relative to other immigrant groups, though. Actually, it kind of suggests that they're responsible for 16.2% of rapes, um, but that's only... 16.2% of those rapes that are uh, committed by foreigners. Il Giornale says Italians are scared. Evenimental Zile says that uh, the ones who are most scared um, are, um, are actually Romanian, law-abiding Romanian citizens in Italy who are... Um, who are more scared because of Italians uh, seeking revenge. They say that they're scared to speak Romanian in the street now. OK, Nicolas Sarkozy uh, on air tonight talking yeah. about he, his first year in charge. Yeah, you've got the big contrast between the two main French morning papers. Left-wing Libération has a best of Sarkozy's year in office, really a best of the less popular things he did, while Le Figaro is uh, talking very seriously about um, how he's preparing for this interview and the challenges facing him and uh, to, to taking a much more kind of serious... And, and, uh, a fairly predictable split there, but I like the 172% <coughs> pay rise. I'll have to hear him explain that one away. Gulliver, thank you very much. You watch your France fan cats. Stay with us. Business is brought to you by Dexia, the public finance bank.